you all doing today? Good. Yeah. I know all of you have came from different places. I'm happy all of you are here, and I hope you guys enjoy the course. My name is David O'KK. I'm a, um, a date of birth is um. Today's date is uh, 6 11 2023. Um, before we dive into the course, there's some grand rules we should know about. First, we'll go with um, health and safety on where we are. Um, in case of fire, the exit door is uh, just walk through uh, to the end of the corridor. Then the assembly port is uh, beside the gate on your entrance. Um, if you're using a laptop or anything, please try to secure the cable not to trip in each other. If there's any spill on the floor or water, please get my attention to clean it or you just put in a sign so we try to help each other and no one get injured. And um, if you're smoking, the smoking area is um, outside the car park because don't smoke in the, in the premises because it's not allowed. But if you want to smoke, you can just go outside smoke in the car park. And um, if you want to go for your coffee, tea, please. We only got um, three breaks to take. One as is 11 o'clock, that's for 15 minutes. One is around uh, 1 o'clock, like 30 minutes break. We will have to come back at 11 and uh, one thirty. Then the last break we have to take is at 3 o'clock, which is 15 minutes again. That's for the tea break. Um, if anybody is needing a tea break or you want to um, take a coffee, the next room on the corner, you can help yourself with some coffee and teas and a biscuit if you want. Okay. Now you guys all know the ground rules and everything. Okay. Before I can go ahead with the course, if I can know a little bit of each, everyone here, um, you know, where you came from and why do you choose to do this course, uh, I can start with you, please. My name is Ibrahim. Um, uh, I've been in the for two years. I came from Sheffield and I wanted to do this course to adapt my knowledge of conflict management. Oh, nice. All right. Start with you, sir. Um, Samuel Kitwani uh, from uh, Essex. Amazing. Um, I run a security business. I'm here to try and uh, expand within the industry and at the same time the prof professionalism of our company and and our clients to improve on, on that aspect. Oh, okay. Nice please. Myself, I'm uh, the director of our training school and we deliver uh, all kinds of courses but also conflict management um, so I'm actually here to learn uh, how you deliver a lessons in a de-escalation but also in conflict management in general. All right, thank you. Uh, I'll just give you the bar, please. Uh, my name is Darren, um, 20 plus years in the industry and I'm here to help further uh, fill a void in our, our county um, for a staffage of short, uh, shortage of staff. All right. Um, please. My name is Stuart Gilmore, uh, 15 years in the industry. Um, I'm here to hopefully pick up the qualifications so I can then start delivering the SIA course, which will help me in my role with recruiting. Okay, thank you everyone. Yeah, I'd really appreciate your audio effort all of you make here to be here for this course today. Uh, my own name is um, David, like I said earlier. I've uh, been in our security industry for 10 years, uh, since most of you already got lots of experience. Yeah, so the aim of this course today is conflict. There are different conflicts. You can have conflict at the workplace, you can have conflict at home. So conflict is, um, you know, for me, is, a, is a what, we are, what we see or what we kind of uh, notice every day of our life. Yeah, so but today we'll be dealing with um, conflict at the workplace mostly in the security industry. And at the same time, all of us here already, I'm pretty sure everyone here have already encountered conflict in their workplace, I believe so. Uh, in my own knowledge, when I hear the word conflict, it means so many things. So I will try to teach everyone here today. So my aim, the aim for this course, hopefully, if, if you, all of you pay attention, you can be able to know how to deal with uh, conflict in your own workplace on how to solve it, how to escalate the issues when it arises. Okay, um, now the first one we're gonna go with, when we say um, rise awareness, 
So can anyone tell me what you mean like rise awareness when you when conflict maybe in your workplace? Is anyone here have a clue? Um, I'll go to you, Sam. Uh, raise awareness. Yeah, awareness. Um, the awareness of any source of yeah conflict, conflict where it may arise. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, it could be when a place of work. It could be a conflict uh, between two um, female uh, who uh, the other one is nice looking, another one is wearing different clothes. So that could, you know, that could be a conflict between the two. Okay. That the other one feels the other one is better than the other. All right, thank you very much. That was a good answer. But all I'm looking for, you know, when I say that awareness, um, and let's say in let's times of a security guard, like that's what we all, I believe that's what we all here are fight for. So um, if I can go with you, please, if you just say, um, like, awareness, like security in industry. I think uh, uh, try to understand and be aware of the signs of, of, of uh, conflicts to have an early stage to understand, oh, that might be a conflict. Yeah. And if you already have one, be aware of how to solve it. Yeah, thank you very much. If you guys look into what the statement, it says signs, the early signs. You know, it's better to disseminate issue or any situation, the early stage. You have to be aware of your environment. Let's say you're working as a bouncer in a club, it can be in a pub, it can be in anywhere. You need to be aware of your customers. Sometimes it can be, you see the approach from the customers, you already know that, okay, this person is coming into my premises and he's loose toxics. You need to up, think about how can you apply changes, how can you try to disconnect the issue, what, what can you do? Because you know very well, if this person approach your premises, that might be an issue. So that's the early sign. That's our realness. You already raise the awareness to maybe inform your colleagues, let them know that, okay, this is what is going on. Let's prepare for this. So you see a group of people coming in. It can be already, let's say, football fans. It happens when you're going to be in a football uh, tournament in your city. So some team ones are happy, some not happy. Some people can be dressing in a different dress code because they're wearing a football team. If someone is that is, um, his team that lost will be upset. You already know that group of individuals will cause problems. The earlier awareness you notice this can help. The earlier you intercept with them outside your premises is the best approach than when they approach you on your premises. So be aware of your environment, you know, trying to understand this situation in the early stage can help solve conflicts. Yeah, I hope everybody here is can now, you know, have a little understand the word means like rain awareness. Okay. Now, I go the second word is understanding uh, conflict. They say understanding conflict, they say understand you know, what conflict is. Um, can I go with you, Stuart? What can you say like what understanding of conflict? <clears throat> understanding conflict um, is understanding what can cause conflict. Thank you. Um, so it could be a disagreement, um, like you say, it could, it's in everyday life. You could be driving your car, um, someone cuts you up, again, your actions get a reaction. Um, you know, someone cuts you up they don't mean to, you start getting on the, the horn and stuff. That can then, again, cause conflict where you could just be like, okay, it's happened, don't stress about it. Yeah. I think the importance is understanding, you know, the triggers and stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Do anyone have anything to add to it? Abraham, you got anything to add to it? Understanding conflict. Yeah. Uh, knowing what the issue, what, what the issue is from to begin with, what may be to the conflict. Okay. Um, facing it, uh, how to solve it. Yeah. And um, how to de-escalate it, how to prevent uh, escalation. Things like that. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. That was a brilliant answers. Yeah. Understanding the conflict, knowing the type of conflict you'll be expecting in your workplace can help, you know, preventing conflict. Practicing on practicing conflict solution in a weekly basis before you start your shift can help in companies when they can get in your supervisor or your team, you guys can practice weekly before you start doing your work can help you guys understand conflict. The area you work, 
the kind of people you meet on a daily basis can also <coughs> make you understand comfy because that will tell you the kind of people that comes to your pub. For instance, you're working in a, a bar site in a club, you know the kind of uh, customers you're expecting. You know the kind of people he is, you know, sometimes we like we some people being in security guy be like, oh this area is a troublesome. Or you've been in their shops with right stars. If you see somebody approaching, you already know. Sometimes you can tell that this is the kind of problem I'm going to encounter. So understanding the conflicts, early stage can also help for you to deal with it. Now we can go into our conflict resolution styles. Um when I say conflict uh, resolution styles, um, is that Darren? Can you explain you know, any clue of what I'm trying to mean? What styles? To? Yeah, um, or techniques you can use. Oh, um, so, empathy, uh, or mm. verbally yeah. diffuse situations. Yeah. 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 Anyone add anything to add to it? Yeah, yeah, well, maybe you already mentioned it. It's your non-verbal yeah. kind of approach. Thank you, <coughs> guys. Thank you, guys. This is why you guys are right. Yeah, understanding the technique to use to solve problems are very essential in our own, own type of work as being as a security guard, especially for our watch, body language. How do you speak to the person? How do you approach them? <coughs> Sometimes, if you talk to people friendly, kindly, they will listen. That's the word. Without even using you applying any skills, you already apply the skills of using word, which is easy. Like please, the the signs, body language, the posture where you're standing, the way you interact to them, the way you describe the situation to them, is the um I would say the the help you try to offer. So try to understand the techniques to use. When to get your supervisor involved, when to get the management team involved, when to get your colleagues on works, all those things are quite good skills to know when dealing with conflict because they do to help. And at the same time, I don't know if any of you yeah, can tell me the essential equipment you need around you as a security guard in case if anything escalate, escalating to a new levels or a big levels of threat. Can any of you tell me the equipment you need? Yeah. You need the radios and green police. Thank you very much. You got anything, sir? Panic button. Panic button. Yeah, that's fine. You got anything to add to it? Yeah, maybe indirectly a, a metal detector to, to if somebody wants to get in with a knife. That, yeah. that Perfect. <coughs> Thank you. All right, Daniel, you have anything to add to body it? Cameras. Body cameras. Body cameras. Thank yeah, you. I'm always going to say body cameras. Body cameras. Yeah. Yeah, Colleague. so it's, it's a colleague. All these things are good answers, guys. Yeah. It's good to always know the equipment you need to use being as a security guard because you need it in your work is vital, especially body cam. So in times of detail and disappearing to a new level or it happens that there's a physical intervention in it, you have your body cam to protect you. Because the body cam, the video is on, that is your main witness. At the same time, the, I would say the position where you are, try to, because most of the premises always have a CCTV. So try to get the customer close to where the TTV is. When you're interacting with them, everything is being recorded in case if there is any allegation laid on you that can serve into as a witness. You mentioned colleagues, you getting your colleagues involved as well does help. Because when you're having someone in case you needed their help, at the same time you have someone to back you up. Yeah. CCTVs, all those things help. Meta detector is good. You want to do such, all these things help. These are the main equipment that can help you to do, you know, this a new issue when it comes to uh, conflict. So they are all very, very essential in our jobs. Um, then we have um, effective communications. When we say effective communications, I don't know. You know, you know why here to help me with the word effective communication when it comes to conflicts. Correct language. Correct language. Thank you. Anyone have anything to add to it? Listening but to what some says. Yeah. Pitch and time. Thank you. Yeah. Do so you have anything to add? The communication. Yeah. Listen. Thank you. Right. Active listening. Communicate openly. Like I'm communicating with you guys. You guys don't feel threats. Can. I'm open-minded, you understand? So I'm not like 
walking up looking too serious like I don't care, I don't know. The way I'm expressing to you guys, the way I'm teaching now is also an effective way to communicate to everyone. <coughs> yeah. So that is for me is the main things you have to need. The way you interact with people, the word you use also can be a vital thing to learn. Then um Now we go into documentation. It's also very good you document every encounter or every conflict encounter you have with any customers. I think it's very good because the reason why I say this in case if the case later on go into a lawsuit, you need your own documentation. The customer can say them um, a different thing that you, maybe you push them or you punch them. You need your own evidence. All these things still goes with um, having a CCTV body cams. But it's also it's always good to have a documentations. And sometimes they, um, most of the premises, they always have like a review to check on the documentation. Like, okay, this is what we did wrong and this is the best way. So you guys can actually run a skinny about that. Try to practice. These are all, all the like, skills and things to do to improve your uh, conflict skills. Yeah. Before we are not now. Yeah. I'm gonna have a go right here. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna need um um I'm just gonna need some to stay for a few please you just leave the room. Just this, uh, no, just you four of you just accept him to stay in the beauty yeah, garden. Yes, please. No, it's just so short. Yeah. Are you already getting warm? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. So you have to search this person um, and the customer refuses to be searched because the car is fast, it's being done on a random basis, search. So maybe in a 1 in a 500 or 1 in a 100 should be searched, that's a company policy. So in every 100, a customer should be searched. And you only search one? No, it's every one, it's a random search. Yeah, okay. So you can pick whoever customer it is to search. Yeah, so because it's done on a random basis, so it can be... Every 50 customers have to be searched, one person have to search in every 50 customers because it's a random search. Yeah, so you want to ask the guy to tell this customer you need to search them because it's a random search. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not, they're not yeah. being picked up yet. Yeah. So you're going to be the security guard. So you're going to be searching yeah. this person. Yeah. Please, when you go outside, can you get me a steward, please? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, steward. Hi Stuart, how are you doing? Are you doing alright? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to need to play a role as a head staff. Yeah. So we're trying to get in a guy who don't know um, the customer coming in the premises but refusing such. We yeah, are trying to explain to him that he's being done randomly, there's nothing specific about it. It's just like how the job is done. It's a random search. Maybe he's, a, he's the 50 customers. So maybe every 50 customers, one person needs to be searched. Yeah. So we're trying to explain to him that it's a random search. So there's nothing you can do. It's not that he gets searched or he have to leave the premises. So we're trying to do that. So you're going to be the head staff. Yeah, if you can get me... Um, and just get me Abraham, please. Yeah, thank you. Hi, bro. How are you doing, mate? You doing good? Are you enjoying the course? Oh, good, yeah. Doing all right, yeah? So far. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to get you to play in a customer role. So you're going to refuse them to charge such you. Yeah, because that would really, you are like a customer coming into the premises. Um, but you wouldn't want them to search you. No, the really. guys is going to explain to you is a random search, but you have to receive I want you to ask 
a bit aggressively, not too much aggressively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a process, it's just a rule. Don't try to explain to them that you cannot be searched because yes. you don't see any reason why they should search you because they're not searching the others. Yeah, so you have to try to get a full distance while you're being asked to be searched. And at the end of it, you don't have to be searched, okay? Yeah, then that's what it is. If you just call everyone else, you just come to class, please. Yeah, all right. Everybody else. Yeah, we're going to go. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Um, I believe I've explained the rule to everybody. Um, so I'm just going to get you and uh, Dan to be the review part and part yeah. panel, please. No okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, okay, let's dive into it. Yeah. Yo, oh, sorry. Yo, okay. yeah. Hello. Hi, Miss. May I ask you to just uh, step out of the line, please? Yes, is there an issue? No, no, no. I'm just um, trying to um, check something. Uh, what we normally do uh, a kind of uh, search every every 50 or 100 persons. Okay. You are picked out just randomly. And we like to search you. Uh, are you okay with that? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. What was the search? The name of it? Sorry, say what did you say, search? Your body search. No, 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 I do not consent to it. Why is everyone? No one else been searched. I haven't seen anyone being searched. I've been I, I understand hour. that it feels very annoying, but every 50 or 100 people just pick somebody out. It doesn't matter who. We just pick somebody randomly. No. And we do a, a so kind of you're choosing the person, or is this a no, machine? No, no, So the machine proved does to me that this is a random selection. Every 50 or every 100. So you've been leaves. counting, so I'm the 58th person. Well, maybe on the 56th. I don't believe so because I've been in for over an hour and 50 people have been in front of me and none of them been searched. So I, maybe I could have been 51. Yes, but like I said, it's random. It's 50 or no, it could no. be 100 person. It's no, I'd like to enter on this. No, 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 that's not possible. No, no, unfortunately it's not. Just I'd like to enter. I do understand. Why don't you want to be searched? No, because it's, there's, there's no reason for me to be searched because no one else has been searched. I'd like to speak to you soon, period, please. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I can't allow I'd it. I'd like to speak to you severely, please. Of course you can. Okay, can you have a Yes, I'm still in the same place, don't worry. All right. I, don't know. I, I have a person who doesn't want to be uh, searched, and I'm not sure if I'm right. Wrong, but it needs to be searched. And he was a random pick, um, but he doesn't, doesn't want to. He feels that he's picked out, and nobody else has been searched, and he's the one that needs to be. Okay. This is my... Uh, I don't know, 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 I don't just normally, I had to show no aggression to him at all, uh, even I gave him my ID straight away, he didn't even look at it, yeah. I tried to walk in, and he said, oh, there's a random search, I've been here for over an hour, yeah. he said it's one out of 50, I believe over 50 people have been prior to me, and none of them have been searched, so it's either him, he's got an issue with me, I don't know him, maybe I have a personal issue with me, but it's... I don't see anything random. There's no machine to pick out any random. No, no, listen, listen, sir. Just company policy are we have to do random searches. So whether it's one in ten, one in fifty, one in a hundred, um, there's no, you know that is our company policy. Um, there's no discrimination. Um, it's just what we've, we we we've got to enforce. Um, unfortunately, um, would you be happy for me to conduct the search on you instead of my colleague? Well, I don't mind. I just. Now thinking of it, I just want to go in, so it's you and him, whatever, anyone. Yeah, that's fine, you, just, you, you, know, you just follow me, I'll give you a search and then, you know, because you've been cooperative, I'll maybe speak to the manager and get a little bit knocked off the older entry fee. How, how about that? Yeah, we have to. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right, thank you guys. I'm just getting you guys to go back to your seats. Thank you very much for your for participating. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, now. You guys now see the rules in play. Oh, I thank you guys for the guys that come to play. So it was really nice. I like the way you guys are done. Uh, let's get the partners. Um, Sam, what do you think about the rule? What, what do you have with them? What do you decide with them? Um, it was good. Um, what I pick out is that uh, once it was explained to the uh, supervisor or manager, and the manager came in, it's uh, to become repetitive it may continue to upset the customer when the door supervisor has already told uh, the, the, the I mean the door supervisor has already told the manager so the manager to come in again the other person to explain I think that that's the only bit is that the other one would come in and say look here 
I understand and then deals with it there other than listening to it all over again. Okay. So, yeah, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Oh, no. Uh, the first one was great. The interaction was good. Um, I suppose did a great job. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Good. Um, anyway, is anyone here not happy with the role how you've been played? Yeah. You could have done with an evidence base for the tally okay. of people. Nice. So it would be a much better thing to prove rather than just a subjective pick out the crowd. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. You know, I think some of the venues I've, I've worked in, they, they get the customer to sign out. Um, so you can actually say, well, actually, that they're not. You know, we've, we've conducted 50 searches before you, and it's there in black and white. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Like the role's being played now. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you now here can know how to solve issues in your workplace about um, conflict management. Like that's the main aim of the course. We try to get people to understand things, trying to use what you've been teached to apply it to your work workplaces on a level of basis. You can you can watch the rules, see how the guy the approached you. When we talk about um, Alertness, you can see the guard played the role. When we talk about body language, you can see the way he was presenting himself, the way he's demonstrating his hand, the way he was giving options. Yeah, that is the skills that you can acquire from this course today. You can apply it on your work on a regular basis at your workplaces because in every workplace, this is a different role you play. So, um, for what we all learned from today, I'm just going to ask a few questions before we call it today. Um, Abraham, what do you think you can take out from this course from today? What do you think you learned? What, like, what is the essential skill you say that you acquired from this course today that you can put add to your workplace? Today, uh, many things, but I will highlight um, something from the scenario. Okay. The gentleman said maybe there needs to be a tally chart. Maybe you know, I, do, I work in the current venue and we do also have random selection. But we don't have a tennis shot, so maybe now I can um, advise that to my pass that to my yeah, superior. Yeah, my that's manager. good. So you were trying to say like they should have like a form of uh, written policy, right? Yes. About that. Okay. Yeah. That so, can... so, just, um, so it prevents any any issue from issue the, eruption from the beginning. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, Sam, do you have anything to add to what you said? What do you think you learned from this course? You can apply on your own daily basis at workplace. Um. Mine is when it gets um, escalated at some point or at any point yeah. is to, to, to put, uh, to create a different environment than that actual environment where everything is happening, okay. I think, out of the scene yes. and take it away. Yeah. I think it, it can serve a better, okay. better yeah. result. That's, that's right. better. That's cute. Yeah. You know, you guys all have to understand that in every aspect of this year, you have to, like, have what to protect yourself, like you said, area. You can see the guy was really upset. He's a bit aggressive, but he, the head door calmed down the situation. But you can see the whole event took places in where the CCTV is. You have to make sure that your body calm is on because all the things that what you need to protect yourself in case in this situation kind of like escalating to a new levels, document the situations, all the things like this helps. So um, you got anything to add to it? Uh, no, no, no. I, I try to figure what you said in the non-verbal um, sides, etc. Okay. Try to apply that a bit. So. That would be so nice. Yeah. Darren? We got it. We got it. Good. Um, yeah, no, so I, I, I think, I think for me it's just more about the body language. The body language. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, um, everybody here is, um, already know what it is about conflicts, and we've seen the role we played, and I'm pretty sure and I'm confident from you, all of you here, that you guys can you know, do a better job in your workplaces. If you want to know more about these courses, um, you can go to our um, reference. If you check, um, check on the book I'm going to give to you all soon, you can see um, the license body, SIA, if you want to know more, study more. If you have SIA, um, you can check your website out. Okay. Yeah, check all of it. You can get more knowledge. You can also check on uh, um, Wikipedia. There's so many security sites you can check. Go to YouTube. Okay. 
parties, um, you know, conflicts. There are other things to do, and the same things you can do. You get in this job, you can, the knowledge is a waste. The more you learn, the more it's easy. If even me, as a trainer, I'm still learning. So the more you, you keep yourself up to date to the new skills, can help you also to do your job. And I appreciate you guys all enjoy the course. And I'll, I can say thank you to everyone for being here. It's nice meeting all of you. You guys all have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.